friends of On The Go Puerto Rico. This is your host, Maricel Rivera, welcoming you to a special episode of On The Go Puerto Rico dedicated to El Conquistador Resort in Fajardo. We're dedicating the full 30 minutes, which are not enough, to explore this magnificent property. So stick around and let's get this show on the road. Welcome to El Conquistador Resort. Yes. Checking in? Yes. Okay. And we're here at the beautiful El Conquistador Resort with the fabulous Cheryl Toco, general manager, who's going to tell us about all the improvements that they have made since the hotel closed a few years ago. It is beautiful. Congratulations. Uh, thank you for having us. Uh, tell us about the experience that both business and family guests have here. Absolutely. So El Conquistador Resort, 750 guest rooms, and we recently reopened. We're still under renovation in some of our guest rooms. But as you can see behind us, we have our main pool area. We also feature, so Palomino Island, which features over 300 acres of beautiful beach and places for people to enjoy. We also renovated our restaurant there. One of another feature is our water park, the Koki Water Park, which kids enjoy as well as adults. We feature three of our slides there. One of the slides is called El Gigante, so our largest slide. But it's for you know, people of all ages. In the marina, we also have our Ballyhoo restaurant. So if you'd like a place to have casual evening or a lunch right on the ocean, that is something that's awesome in the marina. In our pool area, we also have La Esquina. And La Esquina is our, our Mexican restaurant. So if you'd like the fabulous margarita or if you'd like great tacos, that is the place to be. We're open for lunch and dinner. Tonight you're going to be trying Ventana's restaurant and Ventana's is our, it's called Ventana's of course because of the fabulous views that you're going to see, but the food featured here is all about Puerto Rico and our chef has a special take and there's dishes that is for him. It's based on his experience of growing up and the touches of what makes Puerto Rico food his favorite. If you add to that the wine shop and the cafecito, you have over 15 food options. At the end of it all, you will have over 750 rooms, like you said, which caters to your over 1,000 guests of the convention center, because this convention center is like no other. Absolutely. So our convention center features over 100,000 square feet of meeting space, wow. both indoor and outdoor. But we feature two large ballrooms, the Caribbean and the Atlantic ballrooms, and they're really state of the art. So when you look at conventions coming to Puerto Rico, this provides an excellent option for those large incentive groups, but it also lends itself for company meetings because of the size and layout of the resort. You could be here on a vacation as a family while there is a convention of a thousand people in the ballroom and you'll never feel like you're overrun by either. It, it's just a beautiful layout and the, the multi-levels of ballroom space that we have opens up from anything from a small group to a wedding to large conventions. This place is really the perfect combination, not only for business guests, like you say, but also for families because of all the amenities that we've spoken about. Thank you so much. We'll be continuing to visit all your amenities while we're here. And we're so excited that you're back, bigger and better. <laughs> Gracias, really appreciate it and looking forward for everybody to come in and join us. here with Aaron Kelly, the in-house PGA pro at El Conquistador Resort. Thank you for having us. Beautiful course. 
designed by Arthur Hill. It's a par 72 course. It's renowned and it's the perfect balance of challenge and playability. How does this design with its rolling hills and breathtaking views of the Atlantic Ocean and El Junque right behind us um, enhance the golfing experience for players of all skill levels? It gives us the elevation changes and the all out terrain of the golf course. It makes this a fantastic uh, course for uh, players of all abilities and skill levels to enjoy. The beginner golfer can hit the ball and have fun playing the slopes of the golf course. They'll get the roll out. The more experienced golfers can fine tune their, their game and find it very enjoyable as well. That's what I was about to ask about the strategy the more professional season players could have when playing here because you've got a lot of rolling hills and it's, it, it's beautiful and it's part of the natural landscape. Exactly. Coming from the U.S., I mean, tourists and locals alike, you'll have on pretty much all the holes, you're going to have nice scenic views of the UK rainforest and the, and the water. It just makes a more enjoyable experience during your time here playing. Of course, since this is a resort and part of the amenities of people coming for conventions is the golf tournaments, but you've got beginners and you've got advanced players. How does the offerings here, such as courses with you, uh, you know, how do they enhance the overall experience for the people? Uh, here at El Conquistador, I mean, we I offer uh, group and individual lessons. Uh, you can be, if you're a beginner, we can do just the basics of holding the, how to hold the club, how to stand up to the ball, how to swing. If you're more experienced and you need just that little bit of fine tuning, we can, I can provide you with that. So. Fun times with friends or family or with Mr. Aaron Kelly. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Si quieres mejorar tu fuerza, flexibilidad, equilibrio, postura y manejo del estrés, en Pilateros tenemos un grandioso equipo que te ayudará a alcanzar tu mejor versión. Tenemos clases para todas las edades, horarios flexibles y dos localidades completamente equipadas ubicadas en San Juan y Guaynabo. Programa tu primera clase hoy en pilateros.com. Somos Pilateros. Original leather satchel, handmade with the finest quality leather and hardware found in Britain. Created by the Leather Satchel Company in Cambridge, England. A timeless piece for every collection. The classic satchel lovingly handmade in UK since 1966 using the finest English leather. Created by the Leather Satchel Company in Cambridge, England. Find yours today at www.satchel.co. here at the beautiful and tranquil El Conquistador Spa with Marie Saldana, Spa Manager. Thank you for having me. What, how does the tranquil environment enhance the exclusive resort experience for guests? This is a rain escape with it, the resort providing a peaceful retreat for everyday hustle. Perfect for resort guests seeking relaxation. Can you walk us through how each floor adds to the experience? Our first floor will be our reception area where our employees will guide you to our second floor where the guests will be doing some workout before or after their services. Our third floor will be our room area where there are 15 service rooms that provide a private serene environment for treatments. We do have our deep soak pool we do have a steam area where it helps you to de detoxify your body before or after their services. Which is where I was going. How do the luxury features, along with the extensive menu of massages and facials, create a comprehensive and unforgettable experience for the guests? Our extensive menu for massage and facials, where you it will be depending on your needs, I hear that I will be experiencing a hot stone massage. What is that good for and what does it comprehend? You will be receiving a hot stone massage with the Himalayan salt stones, 
will be good for detoxifying your skin and your body and you're also going to be having a peaceful and relaxing services i understand that there's two gymnasiums in the property one is here and this one has limited hours and then the other one is 24 hours for the moment we are providing the services as the same hours that we are operating the spa we are going to be ex extending the hours but meanwhile brisa's fitness center will be our first go fitness center and if you want to begin your health journey from the inside out there will be a juice bar opening soon within the property yes that is correct we'll be opening a juice bar soon And here in Palomino Island, we have met with Osvaldo Ortega, executive chef of El Conquistador Resort. I tried the food at Ventanas, and that was delicious and so hearty. And Puerto Rican, it really felt like you were having food at your grandmother's house. Hey. Speaking of different, you made a cheese guava combination in an appetizer that was out of this world. Explain that one. This is pasta queso. This is a salam to Puerto Rico when you beat it something. And the pasta queso is a guava croquette with the guava shell marmalade, it is so, so delicious. <laughs> Very delicious. Then you had the classic tostones uh, with some fish. We have a tuna salad, like a tuna crudo over tostones. It's so, so fresh and super, super nice because they have a flavor of the, of the plantain. It is so different, it's no Asian, it's more, more local flavors and ingredients. Okay, well, the star dish of the night was the local Caesar salad, which, like you make the sobao bun over at Palomino Bar and Grill for the burger, making this local Caesar salad, I think everybody should come and try it. We make the, like a classic uh, Caesar salad, but we make the, the homemade dressing with cilantro Caesar dressing, and we added the crispy arañita plantain. Uh, to change the classy bread crumb, so. That is the best salad I've had in a long time. And then the other one is the classic. Yeah, the other one is a papaya and cheese salad. This is a local cheese with a local candy papaya in the salad. Of course, Puerto Rican avocados, which are not the same as regular avocados from anywhere else in the world. And let's talk about the main dishes. In the main dishes, we have a swordfish, and we can find with the, with the gandule stew and it's so indigenous to Puerto Rico and super flavor of Puerto Rico. Very tasty. And then the dish that when I saw coming out, I thought that was the perfect dish, the abuelita bowl, the yeah, grandma's the, bowl. The grandma's bowl is when, when you arrive to the abuelita homes, always see skinny and give you a bunch of food. And in this dish, you can take rice, beans, sweet plantain, avocado, and crispy arañita is vegan. It is super, super, super nice for the flavor of Puerto Rico. And then you can, of course, add the chicken, add the churrasco, or in my case, you added the shrimp. Here we are on another beautiful day at the marina at El Conquistador Resort and we're here with Edna Perez, Manager of Membership Services and she's going to tell us about the variety of memberships available at El Conquistador Resort and of course the perks of coming to the marina. Uh, tell us about the membership program. The membership programs allow the member to come and enjoy the facilities without being staying at the resort. It's a um, lifestyle that you will be enjoying when you're a member. And you have, we have many perks at the marina, like you have 10 complimentary um, night sl uh, slips when you bring your boat. You have access to world-class facilities like a gym, 24-hour gym, restaurant, 17 uh, food options. Uh, what else? Remind us. We have access to the spa, also to the water park, to the Palomino Island, and it's exclusive access. Say that's my favorite perk so far, of course. Uh, talk to us about the ferry. Uh, from what time to what time is it operating, and uh, how long is the ferry ride? The um, Palomino ferry goes from 9 to 3 from the, from the 
hotel to the island and then back to the resort, the last boat is at five. Where do people call so that they can find out more information in depth, cost and so on, and about uh, the corporate options as well? Absolutely, we have um, individual memberships and corporate as well offer family fun and business whatever you're looking for we'll have it for you okay i think the corporations that get a membership for their employees will have happy employees that will stick around forever uh where can they call uh, to the membership office it's at 787-863-6600 or uh, by the uh, email as well Make it a part of your lifestyle today. I know it might not be the politically correct thing to ask because it's almost like having 17 children here with 17 food vendors and eateries, but can you mention some of your favorite? Well, I gotta be honest with you. This is, is a little bit of everything for everybody. The, 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 the Asians or the Conquistadores to, to have a little bit of everything that we, wherever you can get in the outside, you can get it here at the Conquistador. For instance, we're at Bali. Bali is the restaurant that if you want to have some really good seafood, you got to come to Bali. Bali is, is, it has a many history, a really great place, and, 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 and the atmosphere is, is, is amazing. Even at nighttime, we have done many activities here. So, Also, I will mention um, Bono, which is one of the restaurants that we have upstairs. It's an Italian restaurant. It's also kind of a slash in a steakhouse. It's, it's beautiful. Um, we also have um, Bella Vista in the morning. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Ventanas is also one of my favorites. Uh, we, just, we just renewed that restaurant and, uh, um, a couple of months ago, and, and it's been great. You know, uh, Ventana has this, this culture of, of local seafood, um, also with the Caribbean um, um, taste that we have here at the Conquistador. It was very tasty. I had some of that yesterday. Um, okay, and right now, where are we at, and what would you suggest I taste today? Oh, Bali, you, you, you got to taste the seafood. You know, we got some great local, local seafood. We got, we have the mahi-mahi that we get it from here, which you're gonna have today. We also had the um, the red snapper, which is, is from local from here also. I was looking for the red snapper in the hotel, actually. We also have the local the local salad we have over here at Bali, which is called the Bali. It's a green salad, it has watermelon, and the taste is the taste of the Caribbean. It's the taste of the conquista that we have over here, so. Those three dishes, I will say, those are my biggest favorites that I would have here. Well, they sound perfect for the marina, which is, uh, you know, uh, one of the most distinctive uh, locations here of the hotel. Not every resort has a marina, and El Conquistador Resort has it. Thank you for hosting us. Thank you. It's our pleasure to have you here. Now for the adventurous part of this amazing stay at El Conquistador Resort, we're here with Jan Eric from Salt Tours to show us all the things you can do here on Palomino Island. Thank you for having us. You have a myriad of activities. Tell us about it. Yes, this is an island of Palomino where anybody that stays over here in El Conquistador can enjoy of our, our water sport. Here in Salt Tours, we open seven days in the week. So, so from Monday to Sunday, we are here from 10 a.m. all the way to 4.30 of the evening. And the activity that we have over here for you guys, we got some snorkeling, beautiful um, reef corals in the area. We got five to seven reef corals with a lot of marine life that you can enjoy. And clear, clear waters. Oh, definitely crystal clear waters over here. No, you're not gonna find anything compared with this, guys, all right? Besides that, we also got some paddle boarding and kayaking where you can go to the beautiful um, small islands of Palominito where Paddle of the Caribbean used to be recorded back in the years, yes? And besides kayaking and paddle, if you want to uh, update a little bit more and have some adrenaline in your day, we got the jet ski, we got half an hour of freelance, and we got an hour of island hopping tours where, where we can take you out to Icacos, Pal um, Lobos, and Ratones, and then we go come back over here. And for new, coming now this week, starting this weekend right now, Mini Boats Aqua Ferry. It's gonna be two hours of tour. We're gonna start from the marine and splash and snorkeling in Cagos, and then we stop in Lobos, enjoy that beautiful water, crystal clear water over there, and we come back to Palomino. 
That's a lot of touring you guys have. I mean, do you know there's so many things going on at El Conquistador? I don't know if there's enough time to do all that. Oh, Dad, no. You have to come over here, make sure you do your reservation for at least a week so you can enjoy all our, our, our activities over here in Palomino. Speaking of reservations, you cannot book in advance due to weather, whatever changes. So it's on a first come, first serve basis. Yes, ma'am, it is. So we start here over here at 9 a.m. doing the reservations all the way into 4 p.m., guys. So first in, first service. So come and enjoy. This is really cool. This is all tours. And here in Palomino Island, we have met with Osvaldo Ortega, executive chef of El Conquistador Resort. I wanted to meet you here because I heard through the grapevine of the people that eat in all the dining establishments that this is their favorite one. So thank you for having us. Uh, thank you so much. And welcome to the Palomino restaurant. I hear uh, also that you have the best bread for burgers. So are you gonna tell me the secret? In Palomino restaurant, we're trying to use uh, a classic things with a little touch with the local flavors. And the burger is a classic uh, dish, and we make a unique twist with the pan sobao. And the pan sobao, every Puerto Rican know, when I mean pan sobao, it's a local bakery stuff. We make a, a, a bun, and you, we, we use for the burger. And also we have uh, arepas with seafood salad. It is so fresh and nice for enjoying the beach. Also, it's a little bit hot because it's a little bit sunny. So do you have fresh salads and that kind of stuff? Yeah, we have a more sophisticated uh, dish like a Caribbean cup salad. It is so nice, fresh and light for the beach and, and enjoying the restaurant. And this is obviously a family outing. It's also a couple's outing. I mean, I love it. I would be here every day that I'm here. But for children, this is great. What do you have for them? Uh, we have an entire menu for the children. We have a chicken strips. We have a pincho de pollo. It's so authentic. Uh, they bring out exactly to the street, local street food for the Puerto Rico. You can enjoy to the more sophisticated plate like a coconut rice with seafood. It is so delicious for enjoying the terrace. We're here with Luis Mendez, Director of Sales and Marketing of El Conquistador Resort. Um, this is home to the largest resort convention center in the Caribbean. Can you tell us what sets this venue apart and how it enhances the guest experience for large scale events? Well, first of all, thank you for giving me the, the opportunity to showcase El Conquistador Resort. As they say, location, location, location. This is not just the largest uh, convention venue within uh, or attached to our resort. Um, but it's also its location that is so convenient. We're, uh, if you ask me, in the best area of Puerto Rico where you have just an hour away from the airport, you have the Atlantic Ocean, you have the Caribbean Sea, you have El Yunque Rainforest, and so much to do with just one um, single location. You have golf on property, so you have it all uh, in, in this location at the Conquistador. And what unique features and amenities, besides the location, does the, this convention center have that sets it apart in the Caribbean? One single uh, location, if you look around you, two of the largest uh, ballrooms on the island, if not the largest uh, uh, on the island, you have them in one single uh, level. So your attendees from a medium size to large size conventions have it all in one place. They don't need to be taking uh, you know, uh, cards to go around to other places, which doesn't happen in Puerto Rico, but obviously we compete against other resorts outside of Puerto Rico, where you have to travel from one building to the next. So having everything uh, in one place is key. Obviously, you know, all the attractions that come to play, the outdoor venues, which play a key role, who, want, who doesn't want to come to Puerto Rico, and be outside and overlooking the ocean as part of the event. So that's, that sets us apart. Beautiful views, great accommodation, great location. Exactly. Thank you very much, sir. You've sold it. Good afternoon, my name is Adriel. You're in high tide, and I will be preparing two cocktails for you. One of the first cocktails that I'll be preparing is my cigar, Romo Fashion. It has been tailored to the fact that we 
smoke cigars in the bar outside and I wanted to make a cocktail out of it. So first we start uh, smoking the glass with hickory wood chips. While the, while the glass is getting smoked, we will be pouring two ounces of Barrelito 3 stars. Four open ounce of Averna. Housemade cigar bitters made by yours truly. This a spritz of 151 rum. And last but not least, my signature Demerara cigar syrup. We stir for about 15 seconds to chill it and dilute it equally. That way we don't over aerate the cocktail or over dilute it as well. We garnish it with an orange twist, but before that, we flame it a little bit to sweat the orange peel and express the oils over the cocktail. Last but not least, our cinnamon stick that will act as our fake cigar so that it encompasses the whole drink with a nice cinnamony smell and a little bit of flame over it. That is our cigar one lit fashion. And now we'll be making our espresso de coco. It is basically an espresso martini with coconut flavors from the island. I'm using a little bit of guacofajo, which is chickpea use, in order to act as our vegan foreman. A little bit of coconut cream, house-made coconut water cold brew coffee, an exact shot from it, coconut rum, it's not an espresso martini if we don't have Kahlua at it. And vodka. Now we give it a very rigorous shake in order to mix all the flavors. We will double strain the cocktail. Our garnish will use fresh coconut shavings. And it's not an espresso martini as well if we don't add the three coffee beans. And now a slight flavor over it to toast those coconut cheese. And there we have it, our espresso de coco. Well, that's all the time we have for the show. Thank you so much for watching week after week. We couldn't do this without you, our viewers, and of course, our sponsors and the fine people of El Conquistador Resort. My hair and makeup are by Geo Makeup, and my outfits are by Al Aire at Vivo Beach Club. This is your host, Marisa Rivera, saying farewell. We'll see you next time on another On The Go Puerto Rico.